The Great Sphinx of Giza is an immense stone sculpture of a creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human. The greatest monumental sculpture in the ancient world, it is carved out of a single ridge of limestone 240 feet 73 meters long and 66 feet 20 meters high. According to Orthodox Egyptology the Sphinx was constructed in the 4th dynasty 2575-2467 BCE by the pharaoh Khafre. However, an accumulating body of evidence, both archaeological and geological, indicates that the Sphinx is far older than the 4th dynasty and was only restored by Khafre during his reign. Geological findings indicate that the Sphinx may have been sculpted sometime before 10,000 BC and this period coincides with the age of Leo the Lion, which lasted from 10,970 to 8810 BC. Further support for this vast age of the Sphinx comes from a surprising sky-ground correlation proven by sophisticated computer programs such as SkyGlobe 3.6. These computer programs are able to generate precise pictures of any portion of the night sky as seen from different places on Earth at any time in the distant past or future. The Sphinx sits in a shallow depression to the south of the Pyramid of the Pharaoh Khafre at the west bank of the Nile River near the city of Cairo. The Sphinx is oriented due east facing the rising sun near the 30th parallel. The rock stratum out of which the Sphinx has been made varies from a soft yellowish to a hard grey limestone. The massive body is made of the softer stone, which is easily eroded, while the head is formed of the harder stone. Despite the hard quality of the stone of the head, the face is badly damaged, and not only by natural erosion. The nose is missing altogether and the eyes and the areas around them are seriously altered from their original state. Though it is now indistinct from the drab tan of its sandy surroundings, the Sphinx may at one time have been completely covered in vivid paint. Although the head of the Sphinx has been badly affected by thousands of years of erosion, traces of the original paint can still be seen near one ear. Archaeologists believe that the face and body of the Great Sphinx was painted red, the beard was painted blue and much of the headdress was mostly painted yellow. In between the paws of the Sphinx is also a stella, now called the Dream Stella. The Dream Stella is also known as Sphinx the Stella because it tells the 18th dynasty story of the young Prince Tuthmosis who falls asleep near the Great Sphinx of Giza and dreams that the Sphinx promises him the throne of Egypt in return for Tuthmosis clearing the sand or eye from around it. Tuthmosis did as he was instructed and went on to become the pharaoh Tuthmosis IV. The Sphinx is part of a complex of structures that also contains the Sphinx Temple. There are three passages into or under the Sphinx. The Tomb of Osiris is one of the most incredible discoveries linked to the Sphinx, located 95 feet below the surface behind the back of the Sphinx. It is believed to be the resting place of Egyptian god Osiris. No texts, writings, inscriptions or symbols of any kind have been discovered indicating as to who built the Great Sphinx of Egypt. Several archaeologists and Egyptologists theorize about its construction but no evidence has been brought forward. true origin and purpose of the Sphinx remains a mystery.